Free running has changed our lives in ways that we could have never imagined. After the Red Bull Art of Motion this year, we set out on a world tour. We screen our film, host jams, train with top athletes in our sport, and interact with communities all around the world. But sometimes, things just don't seem to go as planned. Whoa! What the fuck? I'm Corey DeMyers. And I'm Jesse LaFlair. And we're going Off, off the, the Edge. edge. Then, we were faced with the challenge of trying to cram seven people and all of our luggage into one car. Wait, wait, Corey still needs to get in the car. Corey still needs to get it. This is... <laughs> no, it's not gonna work. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm getting claustrophobic. <laughs> One by one. <laughs> one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was wild. I think me and Pasha just got closer than anybody could get in free running. <laughs> if you don't know Jeremy and you want to know who he is and what he's all about, this picture explains it with zero words. Oh, this guy's good. <laughs> <laughs> that night, we experienced the coldest and most uncomfortable sleep of the entire tour. Time to wake up. Uh, just, I don't know where in Belgium right now. It's raining outside. Everybody's lost in the grocery store, but we need to be there to jam in 40 minutes, and we're 40 minutes away from the jam, so we still haven't called a taxi. The weather sucks. We're uh, walking to the jam spot right now, super late. I don't know how many people are going to be here. I'm, I'm guessing not very many. The weather is wetter than I could have expected. Uh, I will tell you I was very nervous that there wouldn't be anyone here considering we're almost two hours late to this event. Um, but there's a lot of people here. So I am extremely stoked and excited that they hung out. Uh, I'm very grateful that they're here to jam. So I'm going to get to it. find some fun little weird challenges to do and that's what we're doing right now. You know, Jesse and I are really making a serious effort to be free runners and only do free running. And we set this tour up and it was supposed to support our film as well as allow us to interact with the community, you know, but 
this point, we're at stop six. We're in Belgium. We still have no sponsors for our tour except for our team, Tempest Free Running. And uh, I just got a call to go back to the States and work on a huge film for five weeks, which would be the biggest job I've ever done in my life. And uh, it's turning out that that is probably going to be the way that we support our US tour. You know, a lot of a lot of things are starting to come out of our pocket. and. That's totally fine because we love this, but we have to have the money in order to be able to do that. So although I've learned a lot about myself and my movement and had great conversations with Jesse and my friends from around the world and got great advice from Pasha on what I should be doing to better myself as, a, as an athlete, um, it is a hard decision. It's a really hard decision and I'm gonna miss the last two stops of the tour, but if I don't miss the last two stops of the tour, there's a good chance that we won't be finishing the tour in the US. So headed out uh, in a few hours. I have to catch a train from Brussels to London and then a flight from London tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it sucks, it really sucks. Luckily for us, Emily had a friend who lived near Brussels who offered to drive us from the jam to the screening. What's up, this is The Cinema. We're here with our VIPs of the day. The location is sick. It's actually this really gorgeous corridor outside. <laughs> I haven't gotten to see the theater inside yet, but I'm super stoked. So our VIPs on the tour here are the guys who donated money to our Kickstarter campaign at one of the higher levels, which means that they got not only t-shirt, hats, posters, stickers, and all the other goodies, but you know, we're gonna take them out to lunch and dinner before uh, the screening to really show our appreciation to those guys for their early support. I'm really excited because Jesse LaFleur and Cody Myers are like the top of the world and I just know the, uh, the film will be great so I'm really looking forward to it. This is like the actual struggle that we're trying to change. Well this sucks. Like we want to be able to do just free running. We actually only want to do this. Stunts are cool, both of us might be good at it, it helps pay the bills but like it's kind of bullshit that it's a, it's a necessity. If people work so hard at free running and try so hard to just be the amazing people that they are and they're not rewarded for it, which is really upsetting. And, like, we're trying to create this world that we want to be like the skateboarding world where you can live and just skate. You know, you can live and just free run. And even in the middle of this tour that we've planned for the last freaking 12 months, and I'm leaving because those issues still haven't been solved yet. It's, it's a really, really shitty feeling. Here in Brussels, the new fashion sense in parkour is snails on snails on hats. Oh, oh, Giles, you killed him! Oh no! Oh my god! Nate, they're here, I think. Oh no. You're a fucking vegetarian, dude. 